Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey. If anybody is new and joining me here for the first time, thank you so much. My slogan is Believable Brown Beauty. That doesn't mean you have to be brown to stay and participate. It's just an explanation of the makeup I do on this channel. Also, sometimes I like to use makeup in slightly unconventional ways. So if that sounds like something you'd like, please keep watching. Okay, again, I have my deep voice and a puffy face because it is 5.45 a.m. and um, I need to shoot this video this morning because I'm working quite a lot this week and next week and I just don't want to stress myself out. So whilst the bub's asleep, I will be doing this video. Today's video is a recreation of a look that I did this past Sunday because I really liked how it turned out and I think I forgot to press record. Well, not I think, I know I forgot to press record. But fortunately, I haven't done that much in my makeup. So just in case, as I don't know where it ended, I just use my Cover FX Powerplay Foundation in G110 all over. And then I use a tiny bit of um, Cafe from NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer just under my eyes because my regular one is a bit light at the moment. But I did use Amand on my eyelids as my shadow base. And I'm so glad I caught that because I would have been so annoyed if I did this whole video and forgot to press record so yeah I'm glad I saw that okay so now I am taking a blusher from Beauty Pie and the color is Go Rouge and it's a really pretty peach and I'm slightly changing the way that I did this makeup on Sunday because I think this is going to work nicer and I'm literally just packing this onto the center of my eye and I'm taking a little blending brush just to work the edge away my eyes are still really watery because I just woke up. Like my whole body is trying to catch up to my brain at the moment. It feels so weird. Okay, I'm taking this blusher from MAC. It's called Peony Petal. It's a really bright blue base pink. I'm not sure if they still make it. I will check when I'm doing the edit and then put it across the screen whether or not they make it or not. And then this time, I'm just stamping it on the outer corner. I'm kind of overlapping a little bit, but keeping the colour mostly to the outside. And then go back to that same blending brush and just blend the edge away. I like how bright and vivid it is, but I also love the texture. And then do the same on this eye here. And finally, I'm just going to clean off my brush. We used the same brush for both colours so far. I'm just cleaning it to get rid of that excess so I can go on to my yellow. I'm using Chrome Yellow from MAC. I'm just going to make sure my eyes are not watery in here because that will destroy. This is the only thing with matte shadows. If there's any wetness to them, it makes them really dark and you don't get the same colour payoff. So just make sure your eyelids are not tearing up or anything. And then I'm going to stamp this bright yellow just in here. Yellow is my absolute favourite colour. It was so nice on Sunday. People's reactions, like the makeup made them happy. It was so weird, but really lovely. It's like, oh, your makeup looks amazing. I love these bright colours. It was so fun. I don't know, if you haven't seen it on my Instagram, I put a picture up of me with this very similar makeup and my favourite summer dress. And it was my dress that made me think, yeah, I'm going to do that today. So that was pretty damn cool. So the peach is like a transition colour in the middle of my lid with the yellow and the pink either side. Don't know what's happening. I think I forgot to record me doing the eyeliner. So we're going to pretend that it's not actually already on my eyes. And I'm going to show you again. Basically, all I did was take this Night Moth lip pencil and run it along my lash line like this. And then I got a little angle brush. I'm doing exactly the same thing so you haven't missed out on anything. And then just pulled the liner out and extended it here. And then, oh, actually, it's kind of good because this eyeliner is a bit different. I'm going to just clean it up there, pull it down, then I'm going to take my little concealer brush and just tidy it underneath. 
Then I got the same brush, the same pencil, and ran the, pen the lip pencil. It's Night Moth lip pencil I'm using for MAC. Um, I don't know if this bit recorded before as well, so I'm going to say it again. If you have sensitive eyes and just don't do what I do, because I don't really have sensitive eyes, except for this morning because I keep watering, but I can use lip products on my eyes and I don't have any reactions. If you know that, you know, if you so much as look at the lip products and put it on your eye, you're going to break out. Don't do this. I'm sure, I think Urban Decay, I've got a pencil that's really similar to this colour. That's an actual eye pencil. So that's all I did. You didn't miss much. Now I'm going to take that same brush, go back into the pink blusher and use it just to smudge up the lash line of the purple. My eyes are really watery today. Wow. Morning face. This is what happens, I guess, if you wake up at 5.45 to do a makeup tutorial. Your face is like, what in the world is going on? We should still be sleeping. I really like that pinky blend underneath. Okay, so I'm just going to see what I can do to stop my eyes from watering. The only thing you can do with watery eyes is just be patient. You know, the urge is to fix it every time. And sometimes you just need to let them settle down a little bit and fix it right at the end. It, they feel better now, especially my left eye. It doesn't feel so watery. My right eye is still going for gold, but I think this may be the last time I have to do this. I'm hoping. Okay, so to frame the eye look, I am going to use some of this. The Danessa Myricks Evolution Powder in number five. It's a really warm red tone powder and um, it's just a nice way to finish off this look. So I'm gonna go back into my blendy brush and literally just pop this in the crease. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna go on some mascara now. And as usual, I am using my Extended Play Giga Black first. Oh, this eye has been so disrespectful. Guys, sorry, I have to fix this. It's just gonna drive me mad. It's gone all horrible in here. I'm just gonna use my finger and break it down. So that looks hideous. Maybe it's kind of cool that this happened because you see the process. You see that this stuff happens to makeup artists as well. Um, you just have to work around it and find a way to fix it. You cannot quit. So I'm going to go back to some of my Amand concealer. Go back into that spot where the colour has really rubbed off. Just pack on some new base. Then I'm going to go back into the chrome yellow eyeshadow. And go back in start that again because that was looking really horrific there's no way I could put this video out with that kind of makeup no way Jose okay oh there is a trick you can do you can put Vaseline on your waterline to stop it from tearing up but I don't think I want to do that today I'm just going to go back in with my liner brush and make sure that my liner starts nicely still. I'm still misbehaving. Oh, this is really, really getting on my nerves. I'm just going to pause the video here and see if I can fix this. I'll be right back. I'm back with the watery eyes. I'm going to take it off again with my finger this time, like I had did before, on both sides. Then I'm going to get a cotton bud and go into my waterline and just dry them out as much as I can. As wet as the enemy to a matte eyeshadow. And these leaky eyes I have today they're never usually this bad, but I think it is just because I'm up so early doing this. It's just unnatural. But it's fine. We shall overcome. Then I'm taking a tiny bit of Vaseline. 
and I'm literally just going to run this, especially on this eye, inside. And it kind of acts like a waterproof seal to stop, hopefully, your eyes from watering. Then, I'm going to go back to my concealer, especially this side. I'm just going to take it off a bit more. You've got to improv, guys. You've got to improv. Use a tiny bit of Fix Plus just to wet it down. And take that off in there. And in here. Use your finger and make sure it's nice and dry again. Then go in with your concealer. Where have I put my wand to fight? Go in for a concealer. Just into that little corner. Finger blend. Get your base down. And then hopefully, for the last time, go in with the shadow. The day that I did this, the first time around, it wasn't like six o'clock in the morning and I didn't have watery eyes just funny you know like sometimes you plan to do something and in your head you've done it before and it's gone so well and then on the actual day you just met with obstacles but I think this is going to work this time for the last time getting my concealer brush and just getting rid of my drop down on me um yellow fallout is okay because I'm quite yellow in the center of my face it doesn't really matter that much now I'm going to go back to my concealer I mean mascara this is my extended play giga black and I'm just gonna do these top lashes. Well, I think I think I only want top lashes today because I want to be able to see that liner underneath. Then I'm gonna go back to my extended. No, 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 no. I'm gonna go back to my in extremes I mentioned three D black lash, and just go over my top lashes. for a bit of extra volume. Finally, I drama over. Okay, now I'm gonna go into setting everything. I'm gonna use my Cover Effect Matte Setting Powder. And powder brush. And literally, mostly on the sides of my nose is where I get shiny in my forehead. So I'm just gonna stamp it in here. A little bit in the centre of my forehead. Oh, I haven't done my brows. I need to do those too. Centre of my forehead. Then I'm going to take my Zanessa Myricks number five. It's much warmer. It is quite red. Whoa, that is too much powder. And just set my forehead. Use a tiny bit of contour today. My camera is being oversensitive as well. It's like I can hear the autofocus going crazy. I will not be beaten today. Whatever it is that's trying to stop me and throw me off, I will not be beaten today. Right. Then for blush, I'm using Fleur Power because on Sunday I used Peony Petal and it was a bit ashy on my cheeks. Whereas Fleur Power, can do no wrong in my eyes, so I'm going to use that today. So that's my blush. Then I'm going to go back to my brows. Before I forget, I'm using my Benefit, uh, precisely my brow pencil in number five. And literally just casually filling them in. Don't want them to be too neat. You're hearing me say that a lot in videos at the moment, but that's just, that's where I'm, that's where I'm at with my brows. Not too neat. Not too sharp either, that line's too strong, so I'm just going to use the spoolie and soften that out. Then I am using Petal Power, which is a mineralised blush from MAC, and it's 
pinky but on me it looks like highlight so I'm going to use that on the top of my cheekbones just here. See how gold that is? You would never think this would look gold on my face, but it actually does. Let me just do the same on the other side. And I think a little bit under my brow bone, just in the center. Now this looks patchy. And this is a reason why I don't like powder highlighter because I feel like you always have to wet your face afterwards to make them look realistic. So anyway, I'm gonna use some Fix Plus. Just to dull that down a little bit. Yeah, that's why I'm not a massive powder highlight fan for that exact reason. Because I can get this look with a liquid, but I just thought it'd be fun to show you that. I'm just going back with my um, setting powder, just doing the middle of my face again. And then finally for lips, I am using um, my Bobbi Brown Rosy Lip Gloss number 22. I think on Sunday I used my Praline, the, the NYX Butter Gloss, but I like the slightly, I, I'm just really digging pink at the moment and I like, I just want to wear pink, so let me not make it deeper than it is. I just want to wear a pink lip gloss instead, so I'm going to use this. This is it, this is the final makeup after all the drama with the yellow eyeshadow, but the trick worked with the waterline and the Vaseline, so if you suffer and you wanna wear a really matte eyeshadow and it's just your eye, your eye tear ducts are betraying you for the day, use the Vaseline, it does work, but you have to use a tiny amount. Um, I remember when I was a kid, there was an advert for an ice cream brand called Gino Janelli, I think it was called, and they had an ice cream that was tutti frutti flavored. I don't know what kind of fruit they used in there, cause it doesn't, I mean, Based on my recollection of that ice cream, it didn't taste like fruit, so I don't know, but this this makeup made me think of that ice cream ad. It's so weird how makeup can make you think of really abstract things. Um, this was really fun to do. I know I say that every time, I don't mean to. It just, it just falls out because I actually really enjoy what I'm doing. Um, it was so nice to experiment with brighter colours and I love the contrast, as usual, of quite glossy and dewy skin and lips with a matte eye. That's kind of like my thing. Um, I also really loved using this lip pencil as an eyeliner. I've never done that before and I really like the colour and the way it looks. Up. You might see that again in the future. Also, if you don't follow me on my Instagram, I'll leave my handle for you here. I do live Get Ready With Me's on Sunday at 9.30 GMT. So if you want to see me do makeup in real time and have a little chat, just um, follow my handle. Did I say I'll put it for you here? I'll put it for you here. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. But please hit the notification bell so you know when my videos come out. And if you're not subscribed and you'd like to, please hit the subscribe and the notification bell. And then you'll know when my videos go up. So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, have a great weekend. Or if you're watching this on the weekend, but just have a great day. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.